My name is Alfonso Tatum. My name is Daquan Yates. Daquan Yates. Yeah. My name is Hilton. Hilton. Yeah, nice to meet you, man. I'm Josh. Uh, my name is Marvin Perkins Jr. Eric. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Avis. Avis. Christine. Turner. Christine. Nice to meet you. What's your name, buddy? Chase. <laughs> hey, I'm Josh. I'm Kyle. I'm Andrew Hales. Today we're in Atlanta. Uh, we're going to be interviewing some homeless people. We want to interview them and find out how they got where they're at and uh, get a better understanding of their life. So what brought you to Atlanta? Um, came down here to try to change our life over, you know, try to come up, you know, right. but things didn't plan out as we seen. So yeah. I got two kids down here, my wife. So yeah. just trying to make it. You know, yeah. It's hard. Yeah. I'm from Brooklyn. I was born in 1956, so I'm 57 now. And I have eight children. You know, two of them down here, the 15-year-old daughter and an 11-year-old son. All the rest of them are grown. I haven't seen them in a while. I don't want to see them until I be able to do something to, to help them. Yeah. You know, I, I feel like I'm just putting pressure when I go there and my baby's mom is struggling and it makes me feel real bad. What brought me to Atlanta is I thought I was going to begin a new start with my girlfriend and things changed a lot when I actually got here and went through a lot of stuff. I started in Griffin. I went to school in Griffin. I graduated. Here in, uh, in Griffin, Georgia? Georgia. Yeah. Okay, cool. And um, I went to Florida. Um, my brother was in, in the drugs and stuff. Um, supposed to went to school, but I didn't. Got with him. He got killed. Yeah. Oh, man. Sorry to hear that. Up there, came back to Georgia, uh, stayed with my mom, my grandmother. After my mom moved, you know, she sent me up first, and then I came up. After that, I caught a little time, I caught eight years. Okay. Um, within catching those eight years, um, I lost my mom and my grandmother a month into doing eight years. I don't have any family. So it's, it get hard out here on the street. Yeah, I'll you know bet. It get real hard. So was that was that your first time being on yes. the street and experiencing that? Yes. What what were the what were the emotions going through your heads at that time? I and mean, what did, what did you what Failure. were you feeling? Failure. Okay. Failure. I was want, want to cry. Just. Yeah, I'll bet. That's tough. Cry. Hurt, and then it's a lot of things going on. Huh? Something you hear about a lot of things, but when you actually see it and experience it, you know. You know yeah. You know. What do you plan on doing then? What's your next step to get out? My next step is to get a job like I originally planned in my hand. I actually applications and stuff, so I'm okay. serious about that. Cool. Um, on Monday, talk to a caseworker, and hopefully they can help out me and my girlfriend. So what's what's something you want you want people people to know about homelessness and about uh, being less fortunate in general? Take pride of what you got. Take if you got a job, you got a home. Take care of it. Yeah. Stop taking, Stop taking things for granted. for granted. Your life itself. Don't take it don't for take granted. Don't take that. Yeah. Care, but ain't number the little bit of one room shack. Be thankful for what you got. A lot of people that don't know about us, you know, they kind of stereotype us from what they hear. But a lot of us are, you know, just like they are. Yeah. You know, we're just going through something, right, right. you know, and we can't deal with it in a way that they can. What's the biggest misconception that people have about, you know, people that are homeless or we, on we the street? Human. We're human. A lot of people think that homeless people are just, don't want to are just here just to be here, but most of the people that are here are trying to get out. I never had anything against homeless people or nothing like that right, right now. It's right. just that I have more respect for homeless people, you know. Because right. After, if you've experienced it, then, you know, you you will have more respect. You would not, you know, know not to neglect them. If you could go back, you know, <laughs> 10, 15 years, what, what would you do differently, you know? If what I would you go, change? If I could go back 10 or 15 years, I would be my baby mama. I, would, I probably would be with her and doing the right thing with my son. My son is 24 years old. Oh, wow. You know, but I haven't seen my son since he was five. Wow. You know, and that's hard. Tell us about your cancer then. When did you find out? What was that like? Well, actually, I wasn't scared because I had cancer. I had long hair, so I was more worried about losing my hair. <laughs> Sickness than <involved. laughs> I had chemo and I had radiation. Wow. So I'm, I'm, I'm in remission on this side, but I got a problem going on on this side. That's get a job, get the education. The education is key. Stay in school. That's, that's the most important part. Of, right. That's the key. Because if you go to school and get that education, 
getting that stop. Do you, do you, Wiz Khalifa, do you get that a lot? Yes, I actually do. I actually do get that a lot. I Especially mean, with your, your neck tattoo. Yeah, you. I, had, I had a lot of hands before I came down here too. So. I, lo I love Wiz Khalifa. <laughs> I was actually lying to you about the 50 bucks. We got 200 bucks here for you guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Lord. Well, I appreciate it. We have, uh, yeah, it's 200 there for you. It's help you get back on your feet, dude. I appreciate your help. Yeah, man. Thanks a lot. Yeah, of course. Thanks, brother. Thank you. Hey, man. Well, we really appreciate you talking to us. Yeah, we, we got a little bit of help for you, too. Thank you. <laughs> hey, man. Again, thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Well, we really appreciate you guys talking with us. We got, uh, we only had $200 instead of 20 <laughs> to give you, so hopefully that's okay. Thank oh. you. Thank <laughs> yeah. you. Thank so you. So not 20. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> God. Take care of yourselves, okay, guys? Appreciate you. All right. Thank you. Cool. No problem. Appreciate it. Have a nice gift. Picture? Okay. Yeah. And then you know about him being 16. We'll report it. And seeing all the dude, I can see if I got to tell him.